week three, day one, marathon training. Today is another three mile run at a 12.05. I'm gonna run at a 12. Uh, according to the Run With Hal app that I'm using. I'm not making the same mistake today. I've got my, that I did uh, on Saturday at the cold, with the long run. I remember the jacket, got layers. Uh, no sunglasses or gum today. I uh, chewed my last piece of gum earlier this morning between uh, breakfast and lunch, so I need to put it on the shopping list, I guess. Uh, sunglasses, I misplaced my better pair, so I'm just gonna deal with the uh, sun reflecting off all the snow and damage my retinas a little bit more. Uh, sight's overrated, right? I got both dogs with me, no Stacy, so both Yahoo's here, uh, Panda, all of um, both on their things. You can see Panda's got an actual vest. Olive's just to her, her uh, collar. That's what those things are called. Uh, of course, I got my handy dandy uh, pouch full of uh, necessities for them. And it's not as cold as today, actually. It's almost nice enough I might get away with the jacket off, but I have it on for now because it's still cold enough. Um, yeah, overall, I think I'm ready. It was a long day at work. I'm not feeling it today, I'll be honest. You know, it's one of those where you'd rather sit on the couch and, you know, play on your phone or turn on something kind of that's, you know, comfort on on TV or something like that, you know. Um, I don't get that, though, today. I mean, I could. I, I'm choosing not to. Uh, then we're gonna do the run and then I'm gonna spend the rest of the night doing schoolwork. So yay. Uh lots of enthusiasm, right? I should feel better after this though. We'll see. Anyways, uh should be all GPS I am. Let's go. Panda immediately starts. I say let's go, and she knows that's the word to go. So you can see her tugging along here. Slow down, Panda. We're already going way too fast, I can tell. Slow down. I don't like them pulling that much. I'll be honest. Olive is uh, better. Um, Panda overall is the better behaved dog of the two, you know. You call her, she comes immediately. Um, she's more, doesn't run off and get in trouble as much. Doesn't get into things she's not supposed to for the most part until we get on a run. And then once again, it's because she just loves it so much. She loses her cool and it's all of excitement. So I can't blame her in a way. She just loves it that much, now I'm in pace. But uh, it's also obnoxious. To be honest, it's because she she whines if you're not moving. She's like jumping at you almost. Slow down, Panda. And then she'll pull forever. I don't think it does me any favors there. So uh, overall, I do like taking them on runs, but it's so much easier not to. Days like today when I'm not feeling it, it's. It's really hard that I know I'm going to have to deal with the tugging, the possible stops to clean up stuff. Not motivating, to be honest, but but I try to always take them on the three to five mile runs uh, because they can both do that. I have taken Panda on longer ones, um, but I need to find a paw solution. I bought some boots for her. I'm not sure if they're the solution, to be honest. I know there's like some wax or something like that. I just need to invest or research more time into it. I'll try more of her boots too, or her booties. Get some video of that. Um, she seems to trip over herself a little bit when she wears those, but uh, maybe she's just not used to them. And maybe that's the plan, but we'll figure it out because I would like to take her on some longer ones. Um, the other thing is because she gets so excited about it. 
like she won't stop to hydrate. Like I'll take a, I have a water bottle and I'll have a little like collapsible cup that I could put down for her to put some water in and she will not drink. So then, you know, come mile nine or 10, she's dehydrated. And needless to say, it's a, it's a problem that I'm trying to figure out how to, how to tackle. Hoping there's still things I can do to improve and allow her to go on these longer runs because, man, she throws a fit if I don't take her. And then she's grumpy at me when I get back. Like she'll avoid me for about a half hour or whatever. Won't look at me. Stays in the other room when she knows I've been on a run without her. Uh, which is admittedly kind of funny, but also, you know, it works. Her guilt trip uh, does work on me. The worst thing about running with dogs, besides cleaning up, is when they stop, you pause your watch, but then you start running again, and you realize you didn't hit resume on your dang tracking. Uh, took me maybe a tenth of a mile, I have no idea. I'll still run till my watch says I've hit the distance. I know on my head, I got some bonus, I guess. But yeah, happens more than it should. Uh, I'm going down one of the little bit bigger declines. I don't know how easy it is to tell on camera, but on Strava, this return, they call it the long climb. Cause it's about a mile of uh, decent uphills. Probably the second steepest part coming back. Yeah, it's called the long climb, which according to Charo, I know this doesn't mean much, but I like it. Uh, I am the local hero or whatever they call it on there. For those of you Strava, you know what I'm talking about probably. Um, Cause I've run it so many times. On the other way, if I turn the other way, that one's called Little Hill. I am no longer the local hero on that. Somebody's taking me over. I need to turn it more to get that back. So yeah, I'm headed with me. Mile one, 1137. 23 seconds too fast still. I really uh, suck at holding a pace when I run on my own. Or when I'm running outside, I should say. One mile down. Oh, cool. That's how that works. Hey, love. One of these days, I'll get this pace right. Alright, we are supposed to hit the turnaround point. We're at 17.03. So, almost two minutes ahead of pace for my math. No, just over or under a minute. I can math. Um, I'm weird. I like to go to like a point or a something in my mind that can trigger a turnaround point. So I'm gonna run a little bit further to this power pole here because I'm weird. No other explanation. And now we start the long climb according to Strava. Officially turned around, all uphill. Here we go. Mile two, 11.05. Overall it was 22, 22.30 I think. Uh, yeah, still way too fast. But one mile to go. I missed the mile time. Uh, that's three miles of 33.05. Should take 30. Six minutes. I'm just under three minutes ahead of my pace. 
which is bad. I failed today. Um, I'm still running because just like I like to run to a landmark or something before I turn, I like to end where I started. And since I went a little bit further to the electric power pole and I forgot to run my watch a little bit, um, means I'm like 0.15 miles away from my start line. I'm winded because I'm on the steepest part. Going up too fast. Okay. Total distance. I don't know if you guys can hear me over the water. Total distance 3.3. So 0.3 of a mile further than what the run with Hal app told me to run today. Time was 37 minutes. Uh, it also said 1113 pace and 424 calories burned. Stacy will put the elevation game somewhere. Uh, the run with Hal app gives me an analysis of how I'm doing and a score, a grade school score, like A, B, C, whatever, you know. Um, and I can lower that score by overtraining. So it might give me an A minus or something, we'll see. Uh, we're going over a little bit today because it doesn't want me to overtrain. But 0.3 miles, to me that's bonus. Plus, I have a confession. Stacy went to lunch with her sister today and she texted me, I was working. She's like, do you want anything? And I told her, yes, but don't get me anything. I can't afford the calories. This is a place that has tons of baked goods. I can't afford the calories. So yes, I want something. No, don't actually buy anything. So what does she do? Comes home with a freaking cinnamon roll. And I can not eat that. I mean, once it's there, temptation's there. No control. So bonus calorie burned. Try to make up for that and still stay under my calorie limit for the day. You know, the whole not feeling on donuts thing. Uh, today I substitute it with cinnamon rolls. Uh, I can still hopefully stay under my calorie intake, but not proper fuel. Was well, good though. I enjoyed it. Uh, anyways, dog seemed fine. Olive was dragging towards the end a little bit. Hey, old. So, she's pretty good. Panda is still, you know, out leading. Uh, overall, good run. Uh, was glad I got out. Still not psyched up anymore mentally to now do a bunch of homework. But, I guess what I like to say when it comes to homework, time to push. Up at the crack of dawn tomorrow to the swimming. Thanks all.